Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of my weekly Sunday thrift haul videos. This is Joanne with the Work in Progress and today I want to share with you some things that I picked up while I was out thrifting this past week. Uh, these are all items that I'm keeping for myself. I've got some useful things, some clothing, a wonderful pair of shoes, something for a friend, and some craft items. So I would love to know what your favorite find is uh, from this haul. So if you would leave it in the comment section down below, that would be great. I would appreciate it. And I will do the same for you at the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the clothing items because I, I understand that that's not some folks' real cup of tea. So I'm just going to get started with those. Um, the first thing I want to show you is just a little cute pair of shoes that I picked up for my girlfriend's little uh, grandbaby. Now she is a little girl, however, I think these are kind of a unisex uh, shoe. They are from Robbie's Treads. I don't know that, that brand, I don't know children's shoes. Uh, but uh, these were $1.99 and then I got 20% off of that. And I picked up a pair of shoes for myself. These I got at Goodwill. Uh, they were $2.69, I believe, and I'll just show you one of them. But I thought they were really cute little wedge, suede. Um, yes, they are suede. They are from Adrian Vidadini. And you can see there that I have not cleaned them out yet, which I will clean them out and give them a good Lysol and a wipe uh, with some suede cleaner and they will be good to go and I love the lace up on the ankle too and this these are going to fit in perfectly with my new kind of color scheme in my wardrobe that I'm doing now which is just kind of a navy white and tan so I was happy to get those for that price I'm putting them on the floor be right back then I picked up uh, some pajamas for myself this is simply Vera from Vera Wang there is the tag there. Cute little two-piece, navy blue, nothing special, but a little top. And then it has a longer pair of pants with it. Elastic waist, I love elastic waists. So there they are. I think they're gonna be cropped. Might be a little bit longer on me because I'm short, I'm only 5'2". Um, and I didn't get them because they were navy fitting with my color scheme. I got them because it's really hard to find, or at least I have a hard time finding, let me know if you do, matching pajamas when you're out thrifting. Uh, I think a lot of times either tops get damaged and bottoms get damaged and folks just donate one or the other piece. And the funny thing is that I say I had to have a hard time finding matching pieces. The day I found those, I actually found two other pair. I didn't pick them up though because the one pair was all I needed for right now and I think that was $1.69 per piece if I didn't already say that. Um, picked this up. One of my favorite thrift stores here in Raleigh, uh, Mission Thrift, had been closed for the past five months. Uh, sadly, they suffered a fire uh, back toward the end of 2019 and they had to close. So they had their grand reopening yesterday, and myself and a friend went. It was crazy busy. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we spent at least an hour in line waiting to check out. They only have two uh, cash registers now since they uh, redid their store. Um, I'm going to have to get used to the new layout. I'm not sure that it's my favorite. And um, their prices have gone up. They now have a boutique section where they are pricing up their items. They have some items um, behind glass casing and all. So we'll have to see how it goes. But I did pick up some clothing items for myself. I got this blouse from Crown and Ivy. I really like their prints. I think they have really fun prints. And these are just little fish swimming all over the place and it fit me <laughs> and it goes with my color scheme so I got it all the buttons were there so it fit the bill I also found this navy sweater because I didn't have any navy sweaters I do have a bunch of 
tan sweaters and uh, a white, uh, creamy white one, but no navy. So I was lucky to pick up a couple of those yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. The blouse was $375 minus 20%. They had a wheel that you could spin and you could get anywhere from 5% to 20% off. That was the highest. And of course, there was only one 20% off thing on the wheel. I hit it. I couldn't believe it. So I get 20% off of everything that I purchased. Uh, this is from Petite Sophisticate, and it's this cute navy long sleeve sweater with these uh, white stars on it. So I think I could wear that just about any time. And then for the patriotic holidays, I'll mix it up from my normal color scheme and get myself a red scarf and put that around my neck, and there you go. And then one other piece of clothing that I picked up at the same store, that as well was $3.75 and 25% off. Uh, just like this sweater. Come on, where are you? Oh, come on. Okay, uh, this is White House Black Market, and it's going to be hard to show you this. I think the collar, I like the collar on it, kind of just folds back, and it's about a three-quarter length sleeve, but it has this attached belt on it. Now with my belly, <laughs> it doesn't come closed all the way, but I think just hanging there, that looked just fine. I was happy with that, and I can tie it a little bit. So um, I got to you know, wash these things up. Uh, the hem here has to be steamed flat. I do hate when hems do that, but anyhow, that those were the clothing pieces that I picked up. And then at the same store, Mission Thrift, I picked up three of these floral foam pieces. They were 49 cents a piece, then the 20% 20, 20 off. So I picked up three of those. Love to pick those up when I can for crafting and just put them away for stash. I also picked up for 49 minus 20%. It's just a small of styro package of styrofoam balls. I have already taken one out and um, used it on a craft project last night. Um, let me see, what else did I get from Mission? Oh, I was looking for a drain board because when I wash up my hard goods to list on either eBay or Poshmark, I really don't have any place to put them. So this is my useful item that I got there. It's just a metal drain board. I think it's a really good quality. Uh, it was $349. I would not have paid $349 at Walmart or someplace like that. It would have been considerably more. But I do have to say that for a thrift store, I think $350 was a bit much for a for a drain rack. I'm sorry, not the board, a drain rack. I had to buy the board separately. And whoops, stay there. It doesn't match, but I don't really care because I'm not. I didn't get these pieces for aesthetics or decor, just for usefulness. Uh, this was $1.99, and it's just a plain old white plastic uh, drain board. So I was happy to find those because I was looking for that. And that is all I got from Mission Thrift. Then we'll go on to the other pieces that I picked up. Oh, I got this little piggy for free on the free table at work. He is just, I think he's handmade, but he's, I thought he was just super, super cute. And with that one little red eye there, I can't, was, was it Poltergeist? That movie that had that pig that appeared at the window with the red eyes and scared the mother to half to death. It's kind of what it reminds me of. I'm not sure if you can make out his little red eye there. I don't know, maybe I'll change it to black or something, but I think he was cute, so I picked him up. And then this was at uh, Hand Me Ups. I picked up this bag of blocks for crafting. It was $1.49. I do hope she charged me $1.49 for it. I wasn't paying a lot of attention, which is one of my rules for thrifting is watch what they charge you because they make they do make mistakes. As it was $1.99 but $1.49 on top of it. And when I was shopping and I found them, they weren't marked. So I asked one of the women that worked there if, if she could mark it for me. And she said verbally $1.49. So I hope that's what I got charged. Uh, then I found these. I think I picked these up at, I, in fact, I know I did, at retails. Uh, they were marked a dollar, but the day I went was their mid 
month clean sweep where the whole store is 50% off. So I only paid 50 cents for them. I was looking for one more strand of the attached candles. And although these are not the long attached candles, these are gonna fit in just perfectly. So they're little tea lights that you know that you would cut off and use separately. But I found what I was looking for. So that's the thing with thrifting, I think. If you are patient and you don't have to have something right away, just hang tight for a little while. And chances are you're gonna find what you were looking for. Uh, also at Hand Me Ups, I picked up this big bottle of apple barrel paint and the color Barn Red. 79 cents for that, that was a good deal. The smaller bottles, as you know, well, you may know, you probably know, at Walmart are 50 cents, I think. So to get this big bottle, I was pretty happy about this and have also started uh, using this too in a craft project. Uh, what else? Oh, I found this clock. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know what I'm gonna do with it. It was $3, but this was on their half price. So I only paid $1.50 for it. I love the look of it. Uh, this does not move, I don't care. Uh, so if you've been watching me, you know I'm gonna gut this clock and put some kind of scenery inside of the clock. I have actually right now no idea what I'm gonna put in there, but something will come to me. It doesn't have to happen today. But I got that just to put away, so when something does come to me, I will have the, the kind of vessel to put it into. Uh, then, let's see, yesterday we also went to Trosa, which is out in Durham. That is another one of my favorite thrift stores in this area. Uh, sadly, I will say that the cashiers were not, they must have been very stressed yesterday because they were not in the best of moods. I only picked up two things while I was there. Hold on. Picked up just a can, whoops, oh my gosh, I almost pulled that clock right off the table. Picked up <clears throat> just as tan, it's a very light tan and white striped scarf. Oh, that's right, this is another clothing item, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, with a fringe on the end of it. And that is for me. There was no mark on it or label on it or anything, but it was only 49 cents and I don't have any tan scarves, so I was happy to get that. Then the last piece I got, sorry for this, oh my gosh, it is quite heavy. They wrapped it very nicely and put it in a box for me, is this ceramic Christmas tray. It is unmarked there. Well, there is a label down here. It just says large Christmas tree. That's all it says. Uh, but there's no mark on it as to who the mold maker is. It was marked at $4.99. Their Christmas was 50% off, so then I only paid a $2.50 for this. There are no holes in it, as you can see, where you will put the lights, but I really liked the tree. It was not, it's not nicked or chipped or anything anywhere. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. Let me know. I mean, would you, would you paint this? Would you leave it as it is? Would you maybe put a, a pearl white finish on it and, and then just leave it? But I thought it was really pretty and quite a substantial piece. Like I said, it is quite heavy. Um, I am going to have to paint it some, in some way though, because you can see there, it has some discoloration on it. I'm not sure what that is all about, but I was pretty happy to pick this up for $2.50. So, that is, is that everything? Yep, that's everything. I didn't do a whole lot of thrifting this past week. Ah, that's what I got. My favorite piece. My favorite find. Mm. I think it's going to be the Christmas tree. I think it's going to be the last piece, the Christmas tree. So like I said, I'd love to know how you would finish this tree off. So let me know that in the comment section down below. And also let me know what your favorite find was from uh, this weekly Sunday Thrift Haul video. I'll be back during the week. 
I do have two crafts that I want to share with you, um, as well as a reseller uh, video of some things that I picked up for resale on eBay and Poshmark. I've been really lax on eBay, um, and I had some misinformation on eBay that I want to share with you. I have, I don't know what, I think it's called a starter store. It's the very, very bottom store. I was under the impression that eBay charged 30 cents per list, active listing per month. Uh, and then they would just continually charge that 30 cent fee. It has nothing to do with the listing fee or the final value fee, but just a 30 cent per item on active items month after month after month. That was incorrect. Uh, I shared that thought a while back when I had called eBay about a problem that I was having and the representatives didn't correct me on that. So that's where I had that idea in my head. I called them on Friday because I, something just wasn't sitting right with me. And after asking my question three times of them, the girl finally did clarify for me that eBay does not charge, at least for a store, starter store, uh, a monthly, an active listing fee. They don't charge anything. So I'm going to start ramping up my eBay store again. I had deleted a lot of items from it, but I'm going to get started again with eBay. Um, that's just a little tidbit of information that hopefully will be helpful to some of you. Anywho, <laughs> That's it for this week's Weekly Sunday Thrift Haul. Uh, I will see you again later in the week with a craft video or a reseller video or something, but I will be back. So until then, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now.